Hey there, it's Dr. K with Infinite Magic Productions, and in today's tutorial, we're going to learn about radicals. Mostly, we're going to learn about the rules and restrictions of using radicals. So, the rules for um, radicals are, basic rules are, if you have a radical, we'll say radical of A with an index of N, and if the index of N is odd, it's an odd number, so you have the cubic root or the root to the fifth power, then A is going to be, uh, the radical of A is going to be equal to A. On the other hand, if the index is even, so it's a square root, uh, the fourth root, the sixth root, then the radical with an even index is going to be the absolute power of A. We'll make these stars. So likewise, the next rule is going to be if the radical of A to the n power of n and A is greater or equal to zero, then this property of radical of a to the n power, uh, the index of it, I'm sorry, the radical of it is going to be equal to a. This is a simple way of looking at radicals and what it's going to be equal to. Basically what this expression is saying that if a is to the n power and you're taking the radical with the index of n power and a is greater than zero, then this expression is basically equal to a. Now, the restrictions here are if you have something that looks like this. The radical of A plus B, so it's an equation, with a radical to the n power. So this basically is not going to equal the same as the radical of A to the n power plus the radical of B to the n power. Uh, what this comes from is that if you take the radical of A times the radical of b to the n power, this can equal to a. Uh, the radical of a to the n power times the radical of b to the n power. So basically, it's the same as looking at this equation, where a times b is the same as giving each of those variables its own radical. Likewise, if you have something that looks like this, a to the n power minus b to the n power, and it's under a radical of n, then also it does not equal a minus b. So basically, if you have multiplication or division within the radical, such as we have here, then you can simplify it and take those two radicals apart. So you have A with its own radical and B with its own radical. With division, it would be the same. But if you have um, addition or subtraction underneath a radical, then it does not simplify into a simple expression such as A minus B, because um, this would not allow that. Multiplication and division underneath the radical would um, simplify into you being to take those radicals apart, but addition and subtraction would not. So remember, kids, the rules that addition and subtraction underneath the radical don't simplify. So there you have it. Those are some rules and restrictions for doing math with radicals. Thanks for watching, and come back for more. I'm Dr. K.